Hey family, and thank you for coming to the Family Affair featuring Deb Chanel's 48th World and the family. Okay, and it's a happy affair over here. I just want to shout y'all out because I love y'all. I do do that from time to time. Y'all always commenting with me, so I thought I'd comment back to you all and give a video just full of shout outs. We can do that because it's our channel, right? So I can say hello, friends, and family members, and haters, okay? I just didn't want to put the haters up there because they know who they are, okay? And we don't want to get them too much shine because they already um, been down there and them comment sections and then i have to go and delete them okay but anyway i want to give some shout outs to some beautiful family members okay we got marisol white she commented on the video uh when i was talking about wendy williams and nene leaks out there again in social media world trying to uh make their sales continue to be relevant she said she never said, why are you yelling? And she never said any of the other things that she claimed to have said. Wendell is probably still pissed off at Nene for not going along with her lie about what happened at Birdolph. And because Nene had a sit down with Charlemagne the God. Additionally, Wendell is feeling irrelevant right now and Nene is trending. So she used Nene for attention to hell with Wendell. Wendell, you forgot Bartholomew. Okay. All right, but Wendell Williams, Nene and Wendell did not have a conversation about any of the things that Wendell said. She obviously did not know that Nene was videoing the conversation. All right, heads up with that one. Thank you, Marisol, for always being there for me. Always in those comments. <coughs> um, we had one for Trina, but she kind of had to just, I don't know, whatever she wanted to say. We just going to dismiss her. Um, but Trina, we did acknowledge you, okay? Then we're going to go and say hello to Paige White. No, nah, she said the same thing. She was, I don't know, jealous. I'm just saying, all the haters, please get your own platform and then tear down people that way. But coming over into somebody else's comments, just plain foolery fake fuckery fraudulently shit so we're not gonna give you that shine moving on casey sweet girl she uh commented on a video i did with cynthia bailey and mike hill thank you girl how you doing glad you came by she said maybe on real housewives of atlanta but little kenya but like kenya and mark looks can be deceiving on ig Plus word is Mark got much more money than any peach holders hubby. Also see here ain't got not well see also see here ain't got not sexual chemistry, so nobody wanna see them in a scene together. We saw her with Peter. Cynthia's attractive but ain't oozing sexuality. L O L Todd and Candy, more powerful couple cause they together and got money plus they probably have great sex L O L. and i agree with you honey you know todd and candy number freaks and right now todd is having a pity party with himself because he wants to be candy and candy wants to be candy you know what i'm saying she you could tell candy ain't sitting down for nobody okay and it's a shame that she wanted to have these kids and not you know sit down and raise them properly but i guess she feels she's uh striking while the fire is hot and everybody's calling her name and want to you know i guess have them on have her on their, their show and whatnot so she gotta hit it while the hitting is good ain't taught i'm sorry you're just gonna have to pay to play the second fiddle be the man Sit and take care of the household because nobody's really checking for you right now. And there ain't too much candy can do about that. Okay, so you knew what kind of situation you were getting into. If you really basically wanted to be doing you, then you should have told candy you ain't want no kids right now. If, if you even wanted one. And you, you just got to find yourself and keep doing you. Okay, but in our eyes, you will probably still be looked at as... Um, the female of the uh family because candy's making money hand over fist she's taking care of everything and you yourself said in previous comments that you pretty much had to actually uh do a job that you didn't like doing just to make the amount of money that people 
uh, the world that you had to prove to us, meaning the world as well as Candy's family, that you can provide for her and the digs that she's already being accustomed to. So, yes, I agree with you, KC, sweet girl. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming by. Okay, Amy, VW. Hey, girl, how you doing? And she actually commented about Wendy and Nene. She said, Wendy is a journalist. So I get it, but there was no need to go in that much into Real Housewives of Atlanta. That provides her show a chunk of the content. Okay, thank you, uh, Amy VW. Uh, blessings and keep commenting, okay, and stopping by. We got Lady uh, G said, they probably won't be really good friends. Maybe they are too much alike. I agree with you wholeheartedly. They are too much alike. They basically want to be seen. And they want all the viewers to adapt to them and uh, call out their names and be looking uh, for them to always be on the top shelf. If you would compare them to wine, a good looker, okay? So, yes, they don't both, they don't want to uh, share the spotlight. And with both of them, I can see them both bumping heads, okay? Then we got S. Hutchison. She is uh, a YouTuber. So, if you want to check her out, go and see what her channel is all about. It's a fun field channel. She love you. Um, how'd she say it? She love you down. <laughs> she love all her uh uh, favorite fans over there viewers of her show but she's a nice lady um very funny at times but she does have somewhat of her channel is a beefing channel so but she does a lot of entertainment and stuff of that nature but go over there and check out tell the Dale chanel sent you okay then you got marie Pierre, hey girl, she went on to say, Wendy Williams is a professional and well-educated. Wendy don't be associate, Wendy, Wendell, or Wendy, don't be associate with Nene because she is a good, a good, women because she's not a good example. Nene is jealous and will never be satisfied, and you're absolutely right. You know, uh, she wants to, I guess, mimic Wendy Williams in a sense, and her platform, but as we, um, we call it Nene had said in the past that uh Wendy Williams ex husband tried to stop her from having a show such as uh Wendy Williams show. He eighty six that idea from whatever reason we do not know. This is just Nene saying it. We can't always believe what she say. Okay. Um Maria Paris, thanks again for stopping by. She said Nene is toxic. <laughs> Are you getting that from what Cynthia had said to Nene that she was toxic girl? That's funny. Okay, and she goes on to say Marie Pierre says that Nene is not a friend of anyone's. And that's you probably can be sure of that one. Nene like yes people around her. She don't really want nobody to sit there and tell her the truth about herself. Unless it's probably Greg and they do it behind closed doors. But that's probably the only person she would listen to, I'm thinking. Okay, then we got Sunray TV. She's also another YouTuber. Go and check her out. She's a good motivator. She um, definitely loves selling uh, apparel and jewelry online and, and cosmetics. Very beautiful woman. Very beautiful spirit. Go and check her out. But she wanted to comment. Wendy should have asked Nene if the cameras were there before she started talking. Now I know that's right. Because when you got celebrity friends and they're on reality shows or talk shows or whatever. Or hell, they may have a show similar to Wendy Williams. Yeah, you got to check and see if the clo closest. The, the clo what do you call it? The closest clear. I think that's what it is. I think that's what they said back in the old time. It's a close clear. Yeah. But anyway, just making sure no one's there and you can talk freely is what I'm trying to get at. That's the gist I was trying to say. Okay. But thank you for Sunray TV for stopping by. Okay. Rita Hopkins, she's all over the place, always down with me. I always say she's watching my videos, even if she don't comment from time to time. And I do appreciate that. Aloha, girl. Uh, reading one of her comments, she said, Now, shout out to my Deb Chanel family. I hope all is well. Anna Banana, Marisol, and everyone. Okay, see, then that's like, I like that. She not only recognized me, she recognized some of her fellow family members over here at Deb Chanel's 48th World. Okay, it's a family affair. I appreciate that. And I'm sure the other ladies appreciate you shouting them out too, Rita Hopkins. Girl, you gonna do that thing all day, every day. Then we got Corliss uh, Holly. She said, what the H? I thought it was Harry and Megan. Who knew? Power couple. 
where that come from? People are tripping. <laughs> Girl, when I read your thing earlier, I just bust out laughing because I'm like, yes, power couple. Where did that come from? You got him sitting up there talking about Cynthia behind her back about she don't know nothing about the wine. She's not a really a connoisseur of the finer things. She just like drinking it, but she don't really know what she's drinking and how old the, the vintage is and how long it was kept. I will you hush? And um, all of that nature. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of shading. I'm kind of looking sideways at, um, what's his name? Mike Hill, too. Because I still think he's using Cynthia for her passes she get in the entertainment field and who she know. And he wants to know those connections, too. You know, I ain't saying Cynthia is a big hitter out there. But I'm saying she knows a lot of people in the entertainment industry, okay? That can definitely open some doors for her fiancé, Mike. So, hopefully, she'll wake up and smell the coffee and she'll start steering her own yacht. I'm just saying, okay? Then we got Tom. Tom always come in and saying nice content keep up the good work or he'll say nice video thank you tom i hope you're not one of them little children running around running around here okay but anyway thank you tom for stopping around or stopping by the house okay uh let me see Jalen monroe she said lol f her this is what she gets. All that talk and it's hitting her harder than the one she was trying to hurt. Phaedra, Portia, Kim, Cynthia, all jokes are on her. Paid to get laid. Woohoo! What she asked Kim, who you gonna pimp your daughter out to for the next dollar? Screaming, tables have turned. No man wants her ass. All right, Jalen Moore, did you come by? Did you shout out? Did you speak your mind? I want to say, yes, you did, baby girl. Thank you for coming by, commenting, okay? Um, let me see. We got Pinsley Francis, a uh, Pensy Francis. Uh, sh she goes on to say, this show is. Is to show us one's wait a minute. This show is to show us one's real life, right? So when Barbara finds out that King was never married, will she have to return her pay? This lady lies so much, and all the time she makes this show look bad. Some people would do anything for money. I love you, post. I love your post because you tell the truth. All right. Thank you, Pensy Francis. Thank you for trying to stand up for this old lady over here that people don't want to put me out the pasture, okay? And all my polydent ditch you're wearing and, and, and fat ass and all this other stuff they tell me. Thank you, girl, for standing in my corner, you know, because I'm going to keep doing me all day, every day because it really don't matter what you think of me. That's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? People have their opinions. Some people can be very ugly, rude, and all that. And that's okay, you know, because it's their opinion. It's coming from their mouths and you know, it just is what it is. Okay, but we know how to shut them down and move on Okay, but I want to say thank you girl miss Francis for coming by gracing the screen putting your opinions down there Love it. Love it. Love it. Continue to come back. Give you all hugs and kisses. Okay Then we got Constance Damley Okay, hopefully I pronounced that right. Don't want to tap nobody's name. Uh, she goes and said, did Nene respond to B. Scott calling her a liar? Bet you she calmed, she clammed up quick, fast and in a hurry. Kenya would never put something out that would make Nene look good. <laughs> that, just, that just doesn't make sense. I'm with you, girl. How they say, it don't matter. Press is press, good or bad. It's still press. It's keeping them relevant out there. It just is what it is, okay? But we know Nene. <laughs> If Nene didn't do it, she knew her team mem members were going to do it. And she was just going to let it flow and ride the wave, okay? But it really don't matter who leaked the stuff. It was If it was leaked, you could stand in the shit. You all good in my book, okay? Uh, then we got Jerry Hendrickson. You hadn't been by, girl. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Been missing you, I could tell you that. But she goes on to say, Kenya just keeps playing on people. Please, she needs to stop the bullshit. King is so full of it. Once again, it's all about her. I don't believe the crap she says. Everyone talking about how Mark treats her. Please, this woman can't sh keep her mouth shut. And I'm, I'm trying to tell you. She's up, she's up there trying to talk with the state planner. Uh, she's sitting up here trying to talk with uh, people that really don't know Ma. She's telling us one story. you know, And it just don't make no sense. Because anybody in their right mind. And how 
King is so straightforward with things. It just behooves me that she would sit and marry somebody that don't want you even to meet their parents. And their parents are still living, okay? I don't even know if Mark has siblings. See, Kenya didn't get that far to tell us if, if, if Mark had any brothers or sisters. You know what I'm saying? I mean, girl, why would you just marry a man and he don't invite you to nothing <laughs> of a gathering of who his family is, where he derived from? You know what I'm saying? It, it's a hot mess. But see, she won't. She didn't think the whole thing true from this setup she was trying to throw us, okay? She didn't really think it through. Now she's trying to go through like a tornado and twirl, twirl, twirl and try to secure her things for her daughter. I'm like, Kenya, if you don't sit yourself down, go on and tell the truth. We we'll love you if you just tell the truth. You ain't got, I mean, you could be a, a little tyrant everywhere and anywhere. But just tell the truth, you know, about stuff. I mean, good gracious. You could have just went and got pregnant. You know, they do everything these days. You know, you could have just went, got a sperm donor, did what you had to do. Because that's pretty much what you did. Don't, don't nobody that got a mind and could connect the dots is going to sit up there and believe you ever got married. Okay? Uh, no. No. Okay? So, it just is what it is. Jerry Henderson, thank you so much. Big hugs and kisses to you for stopping by. Putting your opinion down. Uh, Sandra Chestnut came by. Uh, she spoke on my uh, Prince's video that I did. But I think I was cussing folks out on that particular video too. And she was telling me to calm down. Don't let my haters get in my uh, mind and try to motivate me to come down to their level. And I was like, damn, she is so right. But sometimes, I, I, I don't know, Sandra, sometimes I feel like I want to get back in their asses. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's funny for people to come and talk to you. You show your face on tv they know what you you know on your youtube channel they know what you look like they know what you sound like but you know they don't come up with that i'm like damn start your own channel and invite me over okay i'm just saying but like i would say i would never go on somebody's platform and, and tear them down like that hell i come on my own platform and tear them down if i want to and really i don't think i'm tearing down people i'm just going on what they give me what they show me if you ratchet you just ratchet you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Sandra Chestnut told me, hello, Deb. You do. You do you. Don't let that give. Wait a minute. Hello, Deb. You do you. Don't let that give her attention. We all have favorite people in the housewife. Stop letting these people get your attention on them. Just start your show without giving them any attention, love. I said, thank you, Sandra. If you was here in person, I'd give you a look and, and two kisses on each cheek like we in France somewhere. Okay? Because that's what they do over there. <laughs> I sure would. I'll give you a big old hug and we'll share some uh, cake together. And i give you your favorite drink. And we'll just sit and talk, talk, talk in our own little patio while I got the family in the house. They doing their own thing. Cause I, you know, I really appreciate you bringing me, sending me back the God the way to just, you know, some people just ain't going to like what you say. Even you might be telling the doggone truth. They just don't want to hear it. Okay? So I get it. I got it good. I'm moving on, girl. So I always remember that you did tell me when I want to get on my nerves and I want to cuss them out, I'm going to be like, Sandra, forgive me. <laughs> Because I'm finna go in on their ass, okay? But, you know, I, I, I'm going to try, Sandra. I am Sandra Chestnut Love. I'm going to try, okay? And it makes me wonder, where is Sunshine Valley? Where the hell is she at? You know, I like to see when I see Sunshine. I, I thought of her when I saw that Sunshine and a little smile. So, Sunshine, if you out there, come to the house more often, honey. Come to the house and bring Anna Banana. I don't know where she been at. Now, don't you know we love her over here? Shoot. Check in from time to time. That's all I'm saying. Then we got my Leslie Barber. She commented on the reunion updates of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She said, but with that, we won't get the flashback when someone trying to lie or say they didn't say that those are always great. Yes, I like that too when they sit up there and put on the screen. <laughs> you know, especially with Eva. When she going to say she ain't say this and she ain't say that, then they play that shit right back. <laughs> I be like, yeah, girl. Yeah, unless they going to block out a couple of them and then just show those footage that way but you know we got mr corona and miss virus around here so we got to do what we got to do we got to make it work so um watch what happens live and he's been doing his little shows from home and it's been fairly okay 
it's been fair okay so i guess we can't actually get what we used to get from back in the day or you know from what we used to how we used to view things on tv because things are just so peril right now and i'm gonna stop the shout outs to tell y'all something important okay here that's happening in atlanta georgia because you're not gonna get it on the local news but i used to work for Piedmont my hospital that was like, oh, I think in 2011. It was just, I think I started with them in 2007. And I stayed to 2011. Oh, no, I didn't. And hell, I can't remember. But just know I used to work there. But anyway, um, an administrative secretary role, if anybody wanted to know or whatever. You know, I'm just telling you. Give you a little resume or, or whatnot. But anyway, yes. And uh, I have a sister-in-law that works there. And she works in the hospitality uh, department of the hospital and she told my brother and my brother told me you know that's one that be calling me all the time when i'm doing videos trying to tell me what's happening out there in the social media world or the real world do y'all know we got the um the national guard up at Piedmont hospital yes child let me tell you what they're doing now they checking in everybody as they come and go you know for us employees and they also uh checking the um I guess visitors of uh, uh, patients that are uh, hospitalized in the hospital. And if you ain't got no clearance, they saying, no, no, you can't come in. <laughs> they decked out in all that green beret, not green beret, but that green arm and stuff with their guns. Okay, like, no, no, no. We're taking over this wing and you all going to have to follow suit. I mean, they shutting stuff down because I think the hospital usually cold closed around eight or nine for visitors child they enforcing that big time they hours are getting cut short because it's really nothing for them to do but this is the kicker y'all y'all know that shit that was happening up in new york where they were loading bodies dead bodies uh i shut up elijah come here come here come here oh, you get shut up you get shut up Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. He always like to voice his opinion. He ain't got he ain't on camera not one time, but he wants to start some hollering every time, and then come scratching at the door. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, okay? They have the refrigerated trucks to store the dead bodies, and it's a lot of them. They have overflow in the morgue. They've taken one part. Of the downstairs at uh because you know if, if you knew anything about atlanta uh atlanta they're actually having it's two hospitals of piedmont they haven't got that big okay here in atlanta and they uh have opened up a new facility that's really uh who renowned in a sense they have a, a, a interesting landscape of how they built the new piedmont hospital i might have to find it online and show it to y'all one day but it's kind of like that new futuristic type of architect they did for the building it's kind of scary y'all because this shit ever had to calm down like you know somebody target them for terrorism or uh, bioterrorism type situation all that glass would come straight down on these people in the street it would just fall out you know it's, it's like you're living in la or somewhere it's a weird kind of structured building they built for the new piedmont hospital but they still got the old hospital and um they got two trucks, refrigerated trucks, where they're going to be transporting the dead uh, bodies that uh, suffered the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. What are you saying to me? He said, yes, it's a lot of, I, I mean, like over 100 and something bodies. I'm, and I'm saying over 100, so I'm giving you where it don't start at. I don't know how many they have, but they have uh, the 18 wheelers as well. So I'm like, now why ain't nobody actually leaked that information? You know what I'm saying? Because this is the news we can use, even though it would probably start um people acting crazy out there but they still acting crazy out there i don't know i'd rather for you to tell me the truth and let me deal with that truth and what you plan on doing with that truth you you know you tried you gave me uh and digested then you just telling me lies so see you don't get this kind of news on the tv they ain't gonna give it to you that's why they call it fake news it's kind of reported on or it's kind of structure what they want the public to know not what they need to know okay see that's the difference so i'm giving it to y'all so if y'all have any like little stories y'all want to tell me trust and believe i can pass them along 
so we can let people know what's really going on out here. Because people thinking we whipping this stuff. <coughs> but we're really not whooping it. It's a lot of more people dying. And they're just, just I, they probably be fudging the numbers for Atlanta as well. Because I'm still trying to figure out how can you can get a hold of these tests. Okay, because too many people around here getting tests. But, you know, it's not like out for the masses. It's almost like you got to have uh, the corona before you can even be tested. Now I'm cool. I I don't have a fever. I'm not shortening some breath and all this, and I'm not bleeding from every orifice of my out of my body. But I would love to have the test. And then, uh, my brother was telling me that he has uh like an officer that lives in his um subdivision, and they were saying they had got the information from their commander in chief that when people have to get this new vaccine that they're trying to give us for the coronavirus it's going to be a chip that's going to come along with that now you know what i'm talking about that's biblical speaking people try to insert a chip along with the cure for the virus in our bodies um, i don't know about that i don't know about that okay but anyway i just had to say that to give y'all a little edification okay and i'm gonna move on with my shout outs and my hellos okay uh pmp casey miss pimp out there doing a thing girl she wrote this separation is good for the housewives and the public things have gotten out of focus better priorities need to be considered for life i totally agree with all you said in that paragraph girl you go on and keep educating us okay keep educating us with that okay <coughs> then we got karen reamer she dropped by i did the review recap on the last uh season or the last episode of season 12 karen reamer said kenya i'm so glad you're taking care of you and brooklyn that's what you're supposed to do it's time to move on from Mark. You deserve so much more and God will provide you uh, need to work on yourself and stop shading Cynthia. She is your friend. Please work on you. I'm sick of you. Okay. I'm sick of Elijah at this moment. Okay. But I love him later on off camera. All right. And she said God will place a real man in your life right now. It's not your season. You can't rush God. Uh, trust God he will deliver can you work on you much love for you in Brooklyn keep being there for your daughter girl you're amazing from uh, your amazing mom to Brooklyn uh, love you Kenya Miss K from I'm guessing uh, Milwaukee Wisconsin I'm thinking hey girl hey camera uh, Karen Reamer and I agree totally with you K is not a bad person I truly believe that but her demeanor and her attitude that she projects out is the, the thing that's fucked up okay nobody really questioned her mommy skills because it's no real book to how to raise a child once you get that child it's just left uh, left on your own recognizes and your own peace of mind of what you seen what other people do that are good parents. You see what I'm saying? Because it's no book they give us. We just like trial and error and we cry, they cry, many of the children, and, and we make mistakes. Okay, such as they make mistakes. But um, another key thing you said, to Kenya, she has a problem with other people's happiness as well. Okay, because... Look and see how she do with Cynthia. I mean, I hate to say it, but Cynthia is always the fall person. She's always the fall person for um, things to go wrong, for Kenny to pick at her. And then she always plays and say, oh, I was just teasing. See, that's what I'm saying. Teasing is when you in school, grade school. And then it's a time, if you really like your friends, you would not make them uh, be uncomfortable. You would not say things to make them upset with you later on. Or... I mean, you, you got a friend for life or a friend that you hold near and dear. You ain't going to say anything wrong towards them or against them. You know what I'm saying? You're going to always be uplifting uh, around them without being around them. You ain't going to let nobody talk about them. <coughs> You're going to always be up in them. I mean, they're going to be like your ride or die. Something happened to you. You know, they got you. Something happened to them. They, You know what I'm saying? You got them. It's just that real strong camaraderie y'all have for one another. And Kenya doesn't hold that to me. She doesn't seem like she has anyone that 
can fill that void that she definitely has. It's like she don't trust anybody. And I feel that if she don't get a hold of things real good, she's going to translate that to the relationship she's going to have with her baby girl, Brooklyn. Because she even said, you know, when things were, I guess, kind of good, or she was trying to get them on track again with her and Mark and their loving ways, that, you know, she got to have some daddy time. Brooklyn got to go somewhere. You know, it, 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 all that just cringe. It made me cringe. Cause I'm like, this baby didn't ask to come here. You brought her here. She didn't ask to have your love. You're supposed to love her anyway. Now you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to get some time with your dad when he's still messing with your daughter. So I'm like, I want to have it good for Kenya, but Kenya just do some fucked up shit sometimes. I mean, seriously, it's like, why did you have children? Why did you get married? Because, again, look what she did to Matt Jordan and the other men in her past. She's never able to keep one. Why is that? It's not the men. It's Kenya. And I'm not saying that that cannot change for Kenya. But Kenya needs to really do some soul searching and some soul digging. And some soul praying. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, uh, <laughs> and I don't know if she is a Jehovah's Witness or she just practices with them. Because I do know she took her baby to one of the kingdom halls and trying to teach her about spirituality and, and things of that nature. Which, she, to me, she's still too young. She don't know where she's doing where she's at you know she's just seeing beautiful people around her you know what i'm saying but um i don't know i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to feel some empathy for kenya but you know i'm like uh, it's, it, you know it's hard for me too when i know it's other women out there not so successful uh hard-working women and they are forced to do it you know what i'm saying it's not like <sighs> They sitting up there running after their mates or their husbands or their boyfriends that they had children with and saying, love me, love me, love me. Now, some of them just like me. <laughs> okay, love don't live here no more. All right, got to go deuces. And I'm bouncing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take care of the finales or finalities of our uh, so-called marriage or whatnot. We're going to get a divorce. If I have to pay for it myself, cool beans. You know what I'm saying? If I have to pay, you know, uh, everything for my daughter for as her shelter food and clothing so be it. i'm not gonna put you up for child support that's just something you should supposed to be honorably doing you know what i'm saying it, it, it just it's too much especially when i know i've done it with you know the help of my family members you know they just was out there for me like hmm what you need okay you need me to watch oh okay you know all that kind of stuff because i'm that kind of chick you know i gave when i didn't have to give it was just the love that i had so the love sh uh, was shown back to me when i was in a tight fix when i thought my forever ex-husband was going to be my forever ever didn't happen out that way because i wasn't going to settle i wasn't going to settle for you know you treating me a certain way things are being different I'm working harder than I need to be working harder. I'm stressed out all the time. Oh, hell to the now. So, you know, it's hard for me to empathize or sympathize with a woman like Kenya. You know, you can do the, oh, what was me to a certain degree. And then it's, it, it's too much. Okay. It's like, baby, what you going to do? You going to stay on this raft or are you going to get in this boat that's coming by? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let it just be what it is, okay? Because as long as you're here, Brooklyn going to be good. When you gone, you solidify everything for her on paper. You trust in the folks who you say you want to take care of Brooklyn. And it's a done deal. Move on with your life, okay? Move on, baby, okay? But see, Kenya just, she wants to have a pity party and I, I, i'm just not there for the pity party okay and then lastly i want to say um let me see annie Gannot. i don't know if i said this maybe it was before no i don't think so but she had made it hey annie girl how you doing Gannot? i love that name Gannot. Gannot. Gnot, okay. Kenya had told so many lies until she can't remember them. I think <laughs> we did that's what I'm gonna read it again. No man should treat their wife like he did. Something in her laundry didn't come clean in the future. Mark, uh, we'll tell all just like the others. Step, uh, thanks, Deb, as always, for your, your commentary. And thank you for coming by, Miss Annie. Thank you for coming by, girl.
Then uh, the last one we're going to say, Antoinette, thank you for coming by. She wrote, can you must think people are crazy? If she is legally married, like she says, she can't just leave your child to someone other than her husband. Why would you go to an estate planner instead of an attorney to discuss a divorce? Now you see what I'm saying? <laughs> because there was no marriage. So she cannot go to a divorce attorney. Because <laughs> they're going to be like, okay, where were y'all married? Can you give me the specific date and time and where? She can't because it's all in her mind. All right. So we got that covered, Miss Antoinette. We know what's real, what's not real. And, you know, I'm like, you can love Kenya all you want to. But come with some facts, okay? Let's just come with the facts and the elephant in the room. Where is all the documentation? Okay, where is all the documentation? And I'm with the other, um, I can't remember who it was that said, if Kenya is found out to be lying about this whole thing, would she have to give the money back? I forgot what family member said that. And I'm like, God damn, she need to get the money back. She sure do and get the hell off this show. Because if you can't give us some truth, okay? Uh, to, what do you call it, upgrade your storyline, then don't give us anything, okay, we, we don't need that, we, we really don't need it, okay, so we need receipts, we, we really do, we really do, but I don't think and it's out there, and this just is what it is, but that's all the shout outs I had for this video, guys, continue to do what y'all do, which I know y'all gonna do it anyway, Keep loving on me, and I keep loving on you all, and we grow together, all right? But don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the videos, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy.